Eagles fly, and that's just how it goes down. This is the Red Zone. I am your host, Tuck and Roll. I'm doing this show today by myself. I don't got my man to my right with me, but, hey, he's still rocking with me. You know what it is. Um, let's go ahead and wrap up the Eagles game since, you know, it just happened. Uh, first things first, man. Man, I like what Chip Kelly's doing with the offense. I love the up-tempo. I love the speed, the zone read, misdirection. LaShawn McCoy, wow. Michael Vick, wow. Deshaun Jackson, wow. Man, the Philadelphia Eagles, wow. The defense, oh, my goodness. The defense, they didn't score until, I believe, the third quarter where they scored an offensive touchdown. Now, no doubt about it, the Redskins got rolling in the second half, but by then it was too late. Um, I'm not even going to talk numbers. If you've seen the game, you've seen what happened. You know what happened. So I'm not even going to talk numbers. You, the numbers is irrelevant. We got the victory. That's all that matters. So that's just what it is, man. Like I said, 12-4, and 13-3 at best. Look out for them Eagles this year. I see everybody talking about the Eagles look good, the Eagles look good. Man, to be honest, y'all, we have a healthy offensive line. That's what that's where football starts at with the offensive line. You get that, you get a lot of other things that you didn't have before, but that's what it is, man. Fly Eagles fly. 12 and 4, 13 and 3 at best. Starting the season out 1 and 0. Uh let's go ahead and wrap up the week real quick, man. I'm going to run through them, just give you scores, give me what I think about it, and then that's just what it is. I don't got my man with me, so I'm running it all by myself and that's just what it is. So I'm going to take it right from the top, man. Baltimore got smashed by the Denver Broncos. 49-27, Peyton Manning, seven touchdowns. I got him on my fantasy team. He put up 80 points for me. So I can only imagine what he did for other people in their fantasy league. Uh, let's see. New England with the comeback victory over uh, Buffalo Bills. Man, it was a close one, but New England wins the way that they win. They win, period, bottom line. Seattle with the comeback victory over Carolina. I don't know. Well, Carolina does have that number 59. You guys know about that number 59. So, yeah. But Seattle pulled that victory out. Seattle and um, <clears throat> Seattle and the Niners next week. Hey, big game. Bears beat Cincinnati. Uh, Jay Cutler, Brandon Marshall, you know they did their thing. Miami, 23-10 to 10 over Cleveland Browns. Well, Brandon Whedon did throw three picks. You can't win a game like that. You're going to lose every time. Um, good sh shout-out to Miami, though. They did their thing. They got the victory. Unexpected, but they got the victory. Detroit over Minnesota. Uh, I called that one. That was going to happen. Reggie Bush, wow. <laughs> Adrian Peterson, wow. Great game, but, you know, in the end, Detroit pulled it out because Detroit has a lot more weapons than the Vikings do. Andrew Luck over the Raiders, Colts over the Raiders. Andrew Luck did his thing, brought him back in the end. Terrell Pryor showed a lot of people that he can play football, and he can play football. So that's just what it is. Shout out to Terrell Pryor on that. Black hole. Kansas City, Andy Reid getting the victory out there in Kansas City with Alex Smith. Yeah, they played the Jaguars. Jaguars scored two. They got a safety or something like that. I guess the dude stepped out of the end zone, and he tried to step back. You know, he can't do that. Safety. But Jacksonville is going to win probably four games this year, so boo to them. New Orleans over Atlanta. Wow. New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. I guess Sean Payton being on the sideline does make a difference. Um, I'm not going to say it makes that big of a difference, but it makes a difference nonetheless. So shout out to the New Orleans Saints on that one with the victory. New York Jets over Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Are you serious? Come on, man. Geno Smith, way to get the victory, but come on, man. Really? Really, Tampa Bay? This is what? The Jets? Really? Well, hold on. <laughs> Forget the Jets. Pittsburgh Steelers. Come on, man. Pittsburgh, you guys. Uh, <sighs> San Fran over the, the Green Bay Packers. This was a great game. If, everybody, if you tuned into this game, this was a great game from start to finish. It was back and forth, back and forth. Kaepernick and Anquan Bowden look like they've been playing for 10 seasons together. Like, straight up. Kaepernick's not even running the ball. He threw for 412 yards, and people say that he's not the truth, or he's not that good of a quarterback, or he's not a true quarterback. Kill all that nonsense, man. Kaepernick is the real deal. We already knew Anquan Bowden was a real deal, and hey, 
49ers got the victory. Big matchup next week with the Seahawks. St. Louis got the victory over the Arizona Cardinals. Way to pull that out. St. Louis, Sammy B, good look out. Dallas and the Giants. I'm going to touch on this one for a little bit, just for the simple fact of the matter, because it is Dallas and the Giants, two NFC East teams. Um, Giants had six turnovers. You'll never win a football game with six turnovers. If you do win a football game with six turnovers, the team you are playing is absolute garbage, bottom line. Um, Dallas got the victory nonetheless. I'll never take, a te- I'll never take anything away from a team that wins the game because you play to win the game, bottom line. But, but <laughs> we have to look at certain aspects of the game of how and why they got that victory. Six turnovers. Now, I would say they forced – they forced, I would say they forced three turnovers. The two fumbles and a rush to throw on the screen at the end of the game when he, when the running back tipped the ball into the other guy's hand. The first pick that Eli Manning threw was a right to DeMarcus Ware on the screen. The other pick was overthrown ball, just got out of Eli's hand, and boom, that's just what happened. But And then there was a muff punt where the punt, like, the dude, somebody didn't call Peter. Nobody got away from the ball, and then it hit one of the players, and boom, they picked it up, whatever. Cowboys won the game. They should have won it by a lot more, but, hey, it is what it is. And um, San Diego and Houston is going on right now, man. Um, really don't care too much about this game. San Diego's up 7-0, but I'm pretty sure Houston's going to pull this one out, and that is going to wrap up the week. And um, like I said, man, hey, Fly, Eagles, fly, man. Tune in. Next week we got, who we got? Um, We got San Diego, come to think about it. So, you know, we're going to do what we do. We're going to run about 60-something plays in the first half. I want to see us close the game out better than we did today. At the end of the game, we kind of got up with that lead, and we kind of just shut down. We didn't keep the the pedal to the metal. We got to keep the pedal to the metal and, and close the game out for sure. But... That is what it is, man, and I'm going to end it on this note. This is the Red Zone, a special edition. You know what I'm saying? Coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Tuck and roll and roll out. Hey.